Jay Chen, can you just talk about the challenge of playing both sides? Obviously, you went into that game last week playing left guard and ended up playing right guard. What's the challenge of you making that adjustment? You know, each and you know during a game, and then how do you prepare each week for the various positions? Well, you know, each week, Coach Mo he does a good job of uh, rotating guys in practice for potential scenarios. As far as you know, if this guy goes down, this guy goes down, or whatever it is. So we practice those types of situations um, throughout each day. And as far as the transition during the game from left to right, you know, me starting the 13 games last year, right, helped out a lot as far as, you know, just the playbook and knowing my job and everything. But there really isn't too much of a difference, just a switch up in stance. Brian, what do you guys, or what similarities do you see between, I guess, Arkansas and Georgia? And what do you guys as a defense have to do better this week? Uh, we definitely got to do a better job of tackling um, angles and leverage to the ball. But um, as far as Georgia compared to Arkansas, they both got great running games. Um, that's something we've been focused on all practice. Uh, we got to stop the run, uh, we got to tackle their backs, and uh, get off the field on third down. Brian, what do you see out of Georgia's passing game? Uh, they definitely got a great passing game. They got a couple um, great receivers. Good quarterback makes good decisions. Um, when you get them the second along and third along, they definitely can open up the playbook and um, complete some passes on you. Brian, as a player, does it give you extra motivation to play against guys that are in the running for the Heisman Trophy and very nationally known? Oh, yeah, it definitely does. Um, you always want to play against the best. Um, get, get your confidence up. Know that you, um, you're just as talented as they are. Um, make plays against the best so you can feel like you can do it against anybody. Jayshon, Georgia does a lot of stuff out of a three-man front, a lot of blitzing, that sort of thing. It's a little bit similar to what Oklahoma did. Uh, just what did you guys kind of learn from that Oklahoma game? What do you guys have to do better this time uh, against the sort of pressures you're going to see from them? Well, when it comes to anything as far as offense, offensive line play, it starts with the details of things, you know, technique, footwork, hands. So, of course, we're working to improve on that day in and day out. And Georgia's a team that's very strong in the box, very explosive as far as it, their front seven goes. And they rotate a lot of guys up front, and their their backers play very well. So, as far as what we learned from Oklahoma in those experiences, you just guys that or teams play various defenses, and they're a team that are going to line up in multiple fronts. So you got to be able to ID those fronts and handle those fronts and be on the same page. Uh, Jay Sean Butch just told us that, you know, Brett Kendrick, a little banged up, doesn't know if he'll be able to play this weekend. What's it like to, I know it's on the right side of the line, but to put in another player there, and how do you bring that player up to speed with you guys? Well, like I said earlier, Coach Mo, he does a great job of having us ready for those type of scenarios because as an offensive line throughout the game, throughout the season, it's going to take all of us. You never know what can happen. The offensive line is, is – has experienced a lot of adversity so far throughout the season, and even at the start of camp. So guys have been in and out of positions. And whoever that guy is who that comes in and plays with us, if Brett isn't able to go, you know, we trust and believe in him, and we'll be ready to go. Jay Sean, can you play tackle? Well, I've had one tackle rep in practice uh, at left. And it was in a one-on-one -on -one pass rush situation. I won my rep, but I mean, I don't know. If I get the chance, I'll do my best. So that's one rep proves that you can play there, right? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm 100%, so <laughs> one for one. Uh, Brian, Coach Jones says adverse times is when a team can either galvanize or divide. What have you personally seen in the locker room from this group? Uh, we definitely came together. Um, there's been no point in the finger. Uh, everyone's trying to help everyone get better. Uh, we're focused on the details and discipline. So uh, we're not that far off. We lost uh, by a combined 11 points and the three losses we lost. So uh, we just know we're not that far off, and we can uh, just do the small things to win. And this is Brian, similar question, but you guys are less than two touchdowns away from being undefeated and mm -hmm. probably one of the top 12 teams in the country. Yeah. How do you prevent from looking back and already thinking what might have been and where you could be? And, you know, I know you use the snap and clear mentality a lot, but how do you keep looking forward and worrying about that week's opponent? Uh, we just got to see it for what it is. Like you said, we're two touchdowns away from being undefeated in the top 12. So um, 
although we haven't got the job done, we didn't finish, uh, we know we're right there. And there's a lot of good things um, that we can look at in the game. And it's not all doom and gloom. So we just got to keep our confidence up and just know that um, we're still talented. We're still a great team.